I am Dr. Paneer Salvam, founder of uh, Growbeak. My dear friends, uh, today the market uh, structure is, it is not consumer centric, but it is a profit maximization or profit seeking. So what is happening in the market and how a consumer has to rule and uh, strengthen their health is the subject of this video. So when you refer to economic literature, what market, what it says, there was only one seller, later it were, there were a few sellers and of late, in even 1839, it became a monopolistic. That is, there are many sellers, so compete with the product through their uh, monopolism. So what they defined was the market could be ruled by three factors, number one price, number two quality, number three advertisement. So when you mean price, that should be covered, that should be the combination of the quality. And uh, consumers should aware what is the product available in the market. So price, quality, it's a dual uh, sword. Now what is happening today market because of uh, the profit maximization? I could give you uh, examples. People nowadays concern more on uh, price rather the other two factors. So ultimately what they buy doesn't uh, serve as a good element for maintaining your health. For example, palm bean is oil which could uh, dilute with any product, any liquid product. That is one of the cooking uh, oil used by many households. Similarly, you take any product, whether it is a rice, it's a polished rice, which is expensive and also ill healthy product. That is as far as when you buy any raw material, we never bother about the quality consciousness, rather price consciousness. But when you travel abroad, the people are more concerned on health and uh, they just ensure what they eat, what they buy is uh, ensuring the quality concept. Then on satisfying the quality, they compare the prices. That is what the European Commission is uh, very strict uh, in maintaining the, the formula which you adopt from India. Many products are rejected because uh, the things are not strictly followed by the exporters. Okay, let us come to the local market. When you go to buy uh, idli vada in uh, uh, different marketplaces, one place that is uh, idli, four idlis, one vada is 25 rupees, which is going to be about 100 rupees in the place where you are sit and eat. When you buy biryani, <coughs> It is between 60 to 300 rupees. Again, when you go to mutton stall or chicken stall, when you buy this chicken for your consumption, they will always give more priority for the waste items, which normally the consumer will not buy. Because they said that is they have more profit on that. So where does it go? It goes to restaurants or maybe like hotels. Where you are going with your family to eat your biryanis or maybe like a mutton fry or mutton things. So similarly of biryani, when you buy any material, even buy a kova, <coughs> one place it's 50 rupees, another place 75 rupees, it's not another place 100 rupees. So what's the rate quality? Even though the consumer sovereignism and consumer sales are available, we don't define which is the right one. It is applicable not only this, even when you buy Horlicks, there is a branded Horlicks, it's 250, 275, but there is a similar pack available for even 100 rupees. So later you discover that the same uh, stationery wala uh, grinds some material and pack it in that box with the same similar kind of package and advertisements, everything. So now the thing is, what is happening before you in the uh, consumer market? is completely the other way around what we really expect of. So we cannot go on educating customers. See, there are things, you know your health mechanism or body controlling mechanism and what you to eat and what not to eat for which there are formulation, there are things given. 
so you have to be very prudent in our days even when you buy badam when you buy it is between 700 to 900 rupees and they have three prices when you buy as a consumer there is a price when you want to buy a bulk quantity there is a price but when a seller buys there is a different price so when you ask him why what is a similar material why do you make it differentiation number one there are different qualities number two he says the seller will not go for top quality well seller will always go for the second or third qualities but who are the consumers you are at the back end uh, the consumer will go and buy from them so the uh, by sellers who go to the market to buy product for consumers they don't go for the top quality because he has a pack of reason saying that no with their people they don't buy because the people will feel expensive costly so keeping these excuses keeping these uh, promises in their mind people go and bring material which is of inferior quality finally who are going to be sufferer on the consumers so my dear consumers be aware of your quality first price second and look at advertisement to know the product range of products don't forget john robinson who was an economist as well as a nobel prize winner define what is market what is a consumer sovereignism and who was the sellers in the market unless your gate is open your heart is open to know all those data we will indirectly spoil our health so this is a awareness of information to my audience thanks for listening thank you